Well, thanks for joining us here on this final episode of the 208 for the year. We got the fire warming up behind me. I hope you and your family are locked in for a great holiday weekend. And of course, the holidays, they're full of traditions, often with family and the people you care about most. But this tradition, it's for complete strangers. It's the Caldwell American Red Cross Christmas Eve blood drive, and it happens every year, and it's extremely successful. They meet or beat their needed goal year in and year out. Well, how do they do it? Well, the same woman who's organized this drive, she's done it for four decades, but today is her very last day. Carol Munn hangs it up in a bittersweet curtain call. Andrew Bartline shows us the story. We measure a city by the number of people it holds. We lived and worked in Chicago and we worked at St. Francis Hospital there. That was a big city. But behind these doors, Absolutely, they all know me. Carol only counts the number of people helped. Is your mom coming in? Oh, there she is. The Caldwell Christmas Eve Blood Drive. It's a local American Red Cross staple held together for four decades. It was the end of the earth for me. By a woman who never imagined calling Canyon County home. I was from big cities and I just didn't know if I was going to survive. Carol thrived. 55 years as a volunteer for the American Red Cross. One more day to go. This is my swan song today. Is it? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. 300 drives in total, marking 30,000 units of blood. The drive may as well be named after her. I'm sure it's called the Carol Drive. <laughs> she makes a Merry Christmas for us. And that friendship keeps Lillian Pierce. Hey girl, such nice I words you said. <laughs> coming back for 40 years. They had called me to, to give a blood in Nampa, but I chose to come here because I knew it was Carol's last day. Decades of memories spread through the room. Thank you for all your service here. Well, thank you. This is kind of a sweet, sweet and sour day. The staff thinks so too. I always plan to be here. It's my favorite blood drive of the whole year. Why? Um, it's just so much fun. Everybody's in a good mood. Everybody's happy. Um, Carol's obviously amazing. We love her so much. Sorry. Um, she's just dedicated her whole life to this and it's just so fun to work with her and be with her. Because if one unit of blood can save up to three people, Carol's impacted 90,000 people's lives. Which, to think about that, that's amazing. I mean, that's the entire city of Nampa. It's not Chicago. Time flies when you're having fun. I can't believe it's been 55 years. But Carol knows she's right at home. People are wonderful. It's just wonderful. I just love to come and see everyone has a smile on their face and those that are able to donate. And of course, all the many, many patients that are being helped. Carol says her only regret is that her husband, Monty, was not there to share this with him today. He passed away a few years back. And while we really focused on the people of this, Joe, there were so many logistical things that Carol was involved with as well that she hammered out. Now, there were no schedules at first. When she started 55 years ago, you're just pulling people in from the street. She really started setting up those appointments, keeping people coming back time and time again, and just a multitude of different things she hammered out. You saw people eating lunch there at one point. Mm. She serves a full lunch. So people get their appointments with their friends so they can all come and share that together to have a meal and to go donate blood. She was very smart about making this a community event and that led to a lot of its success. And it's also difficult to really quantify how much she's given to the community because over the last 40 years, there has been years where blood was very badly needed in our communities. I mean, as recently as a few years ago during COVID. So it's not just even the day of. Her ability to get people, you know, motivated to help is really, I mean, it keeps giving and giving. Yeah, and there is an official there on behalf of the Red Cross. And he's like, you, you can't replace people in general. You just find someone who can fill that role and do the job. And he's like, well, you definitely can't replace Carol. So the American Red Cross has a cut out for him to find the next person to Caldwell to get this stuff done. But uh, she did a lot. And the blood drive will continue, of course, into the future. It just, you know, Carol will get to enjoy the day off. Absolutely. All right, Andrew Bartline reporting. Thank you so much, Andrew.